Hi guys, welcome back. <laughs> Bullshit. Hey girl, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Vanessa V and I'm here with another video <laughs> What's going on with my hair? I have no idea. All right, so Hey girl as you guys can tell from the title. This is the huge ass motherfucking <laughs> I'm not monetized so I guess I can curse. So I'm not having the same issues that everybody else is um but I have a huge Ross haul for you guys and when I say I literally have like 14 pairs of shoes I literally have like 14 pairs of shoes to show you I don't think in my last video the Juicy Couture video I tried on the boots um, that I got and if you haven't seen that video girl I'm gonna link it right here if you love Juicy Couture if you love me then you need to go watch it okay but you don't gotta watch it first you can watch it after this but I know YouTubers say this all the time, like, girl, get yourself some snacks, get you something to drink. Um, do that. Do that. Because this is a long ass video and you're going to be sitting here wanting to do that because there's going to be a lot of goodies and I just have to put it in one video because I cannot hold on to some of this stuff any longer or you're not going to find it. So I'm going to start off with some clearance items that I picked up Then I'm just going to girl i'm gonna dive on in and i'm gonna swim around you're gonna see everything and there are gonna be 14 pairs of shoes i'm gonna show you an increment so it's not just the whole ass shoe segment um and i hope you love shoes as much as i do girl because i only got two feet but about like 400 pairs of shoes it's a real sickness but i don't know that i want to be medicated right now like i just love shoes i love shoes i love 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 shoes um so i'm gonna go ahead and start off with some clearance items enough with the silliness the first item i picked up you guys know i love the under eye sheet mask and this past month meaning the month of january i found these at ross these peptide and collagen under eye mask they have little reindeers on them i did pick them up for 1.99 it was a pack of 10 so girl you know i had to jump on that and i will say weird enough not all the rosses have their holiday stuff on sale so you still might be able to find these at your local ross unfortunately if that's the case then they probably didn't put their stuff on sale so that's what they look like i'm not gonna open them because we got too many things to look at girl the next item I picked up was also on clearance, also part of the holiday stuff that I picked up this past month. I picked this up on clearance. This was $149, and it was the uh, Live Green Bunny Hugs Hydrating Face Mist. They look like this. I don't know that I have a lot of hope for this, but I saw these during Christmas time, didn't pick one up, and found it this past month. For a dollar forty-nine, and I just thought this little bunny foo foo was cute. The next item I picked up was something for my dog Bella. This was hella clearance. It was on sale for is it one ninety-nine cents? It says pumpkin kisses and pumpkin spice wishes. I don't know that I'm hundred percent sold out on pumpkin spice fallness all the time but for 99 cents I thought yeah girl the next item I picked up and, and that's weird because I literally picked that up this past month it's not like I picked it up in fall and I'm just showing you like literally it was this past month then I picked these up these are cute the only thing I'm sad about is I already put away my Christmas stuff so this is just randomly gonna stay out or I'm gonna have to go and open up the box for my Christmas stuff and this is little stitch hand towels for the kitchen says on the naughty list I thought these were cute for $1.99 and it's a set of two all right, so time for some shoes. You guys know, if you know, you saw my Ross haul a while back, last February. I actually wore a pair of heels that looked like this, but they were black and like gator skin. They're from Jessica Simpson. 
so cute they have a strap here and it goes around the ankle with zippers here i did pick these up in a navy blue and i also picked them up in a brown so that's the navy blue color these are definitely stilettos not for your week of heart but they're definitely for your girl catch me on a good day I really want to wear these I've been holding on to these for a little while so I just knew I had to hurry up and haul them because literally I've had them since a little while a little while but I've been wanting to show you guys and so this is the brown pair Jessica Simpson I did buy these in a size 10 they regularly do have Jessica Simpson shoes in a size 11 at Ross not all the styles but a lot of them and I will say that I tried on a size 11 in these and they fit a little too big so I felt more comfortable especially with the zipper back for some reason when they have the zipper back like that and you can adjust the strap yourself I really need to feel secure so the 11 was not gonna work for me so again I picked up the brown pair and I picked up the navy pair these were for $29.99 I'm gonna go in with two more pairs of shoes just you know and then I'm gonna show you some other items so the next pair of shoes I did pick up from the brand Aldo also currently found you can find these at Ross I just went last night and I saw the same pair in black so girl they're around um, I like these because they have like three different textiles right here just like a shiny plastic a textured plastic and a see-through plastic here I got them for $32.99 in a size 10. Again, not for the faint of heart. And again, I actually bought these in a size 11 because they didn't have a 10. And I desperately wanted these hoes. Then I went back another day and I saw them in a size 10 and I couldn't decide if they fit better. So I actually at one point had both pairs here at my house. I tried them on multiple times and finally my boyfriend's like, Girl, you need to take those size 11 back because it's obvious that they're too big. And sometimes, girl, all I need is somebody to just tell me they're too big. Go on, girl. So he did me that solid. So I ended up taking back the size 11 and I kept the size 10. Okay, so the next item that I picked up were these copper toned, like, stiletto pumps and I got these actually in a size 11 from Aldo I don't know these clothes two are a little bit different let me show you the difference you see how they're open like this on the side I just couldn't do it these are more closed on the side and the size 11 fit better so I did pick these up in a size 11 again baby those heels are not for the faint of heart and they're not for everyday wear either baby like I'm not wearing these to work I'm not wearing these ever to work. These are like for dinner. These are like for brunch. These are like a baby shower so I can sit down and look cute, girl. That's what these are for. These are not for an eight, nine hour work day. Hell no. Nah. 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 <laughs> So I picked these up for $34.99. These Aldo shoes, they're a little steep in price, but I thought these were super cute. Um, I did get these after fall, so I don't know. I mean, brown's still in for winter. I got a little bit more use out of them, so I can still wear them. So that's why I'm hauling them, because I want to wear them. All right, we're going to deviate a little bit from the what is it the shoes just to spice things up a little bit the next item I picked up and I can't believe I picked the fruit of the loom ones because last time I saw them I th was thinking I picked up the champion ones but these are for a size 8 through 12 and I think one of the things that because right now they have a bunch of champion socks there I think the thing that kept me from picking up the champion ones were that they only it was like four to size 4 to 9 and these go to size 12 so I think they're going to be overall a better fit. These are very thin and seem to be almost like dry fit so I guess we'll see how these turn out. 
I don't know. I had, um, like, a couple of years ago thrown out all my socks and only kept a few Under Armour socks. And then I bought, like, a bunch of black Van socks. I really want to do that. But Van doesn't, Vans doesn't make it convenient because they're not, like, at your local Walmart or something. Like, I actually got to go to the Van store. So I've yet to go. And I need some new ones because, fun fact, I have barely bought two packages of new ones whenever I got Bella as a puppy. Like, literally the weekend I did. Um... And my dog chewed through most of them, so. Get a puppy, they said. Oh, and I picked those up for $3.99, so that's a great deal. And I almost forgot, I have two items here that were dog toys that I also picked up on clearance this past month. This one was for $3.99, and I'm going to be saving this for their Christmas this year. And then I picked this one up for $2.49, and I'm also going to be saving it for the Christmas this year. Jumping into another pair of shoes, bitch, because you know we got a lot of them, are these Aldo, um, I guess like gold chain, I don't know what vibe they're giving, but they also have like little tigers here. I forgot what that's called, but... That's what they look like. I don't know. They give me like some Versace or something. The texture is actually like not a very sensitive texture. It seems like a more rough texture or material on the outside. I did buy these again in an 11 for $34.99. Honestly, one of my feet are like thinner than the other. Comment down below if your feet are like that too. I think it's my left foot because I'm right-handed and I guess right-footed. I'm not sure. So my left foot tends to be actually I think it's backwards I think my right foot is thinner than my left foot but my right hand is thicker than my left hand I don't know how that works girl but so on one of them I probably do or both of them need to put one of those little foam things in the back just to keep it from slipping a little bit but honestly, the size 10 was too small, so I did have to go with the 11. I think these are cute, would look cute with the black dress, a black fit, some slacks. I'm not sure how I want to wear these, but I definitely could not leave these. I'm telling you, I have a sickness, I love shoes, and I don't know that I want to be medicated. Like, honestly, I just love shoes. The next pair of shoes I got were from Guess. Now, mind you, I didn't buy these all at the same time. So, girl, get off get off from thinking I spent all this money in one sitting. I mean, I did spend it pretty frivolously, but I paid $38.99. And trust me, bitch, when I saw these on sale, it hurt. It hurt. But look how freaking beautiful they are. These are from the brand, brand Guest. So they're a mule. They have a clear strap here with their little emblem. Super cute. They're a pump. Stiletto. Again, not for the weak of heart. Pointy and rhinestoned out. Now, I will say I saw these with little G's on them and they almost look like Gucci shoes. Very similar to this with minimal rhinestones. But girl, I was never able to find them in my size. Until this day, they pop up every once in a while, but still not in my size. And now these are on clearance. And it hurts my heart that I paid almost $40 for them, but the clearance price is still in the 20s, so it's not that bad, but still. It's a little sad because I hadn't even worn them. Now this, I don't know if I could get away with wearing this to work only because it's a sling back or like not a sling back, like a mule maybe, but that's pretty tall. So I don't know. But the last time I tried these on, I remember them being comfortable. So I don't know, girl, maybe. I'll tell you which ones I'm for sure not wearing. Those Jessica Simpson ones, those first ones, hell no. Okay, the next item I got was, I believe, from their Christmas items as well. This is this little Minnie Mouse manicure hand cream and nail set. I picked this up for $1.99. Now, I'm not sure if again I'm going to use it or gift it eventually to someone. Who knows? But I thought it was too cute to pass up for $1.99. The next item I got is a pair of boots. 
So for the longest time, I have been looking for some cream colored white boots. You guys know last year they were trending like a <laughs> Anyways, I couldn't find them anywhere. Not in my size, not at an affordable price. Girl, I even went to DSW and could not find it. So this year I did find them at Ross. And I'm so excited because not only did I find them at Ross, the hill, it's not that bad. I can definitely wear these on a daily basis. This is a heel that I could wear to work. Booties are so much easier than a pump to walk in. So 100%. I bought these for $34.99 and they are from the brand Nine West. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's Nine West. And I picked them up for $34.99. I love these. I cannot wait to wear these with dresses. I cannot wait to wear these with jeans. I can't wait to wear these. And I think I can get by with wearing these into the spring a little bit because they're so light colored. So, yeah. The next item. The next item is another pair of shoes. Bitch, I know, you guys are like, another pair? Girl, basically, just think about all the shoes you've seen at Ross, and girl, I bought them. <laughs> because I love shoes. They have good brands there and good prices, so. Anyways, the next pair I bought, now I don't even know that I made a wise choice in buying these. I picked these up for $24.99. Several of the locations that had these now have them on sale because bitch was the only one who wanted them, I guess. But I thought they were cute because they're the baby doll shoe. Move out the way. They're the baby doll shoe. They're chunky. They're from Madden Girl. I bought these in a size 11 and I paid $24.99. They do tie around the ankle. I thought they were pretty cute, like for a schoolgirl vibe, from some wide leg jeans, and I wanted to wear some see-through tights. Like, they're cute. As far as winter goes, I don't have a lot of time left this season, but I don't see them going out of style for next season. I think chunky heels are still gonna be around, platforms are still going to be around, and we're still gonna be doing the damn thing. So if I don't get to wear them this season, then this is gonna be part of my stockpile for next season, and I won't be mad at it. Hopefully I just remember I have them so I don't buy another pair that looks just like them, but yeah, there are these. I was gonna save some of this stuff, but fuck it, girl. We're already here. We're already knee deep in shit. So we're just gonna go with it. Yeah? So the next item I got, I got these for my dogs for Valentine's. How cute are these? And Bella just literally found these and wanted them just a few moments ago. So I'm gonna crack them off and give them to them early. So happy Valentine's Day to my babies. I just got them for them like yesterday because I thought they were so cute. So they'll get one of these whenever I'm done. They're actually kind of sleeping right now, so. I guess as long as I don't accidentally throw them away. The next item I got, I told you I like to have them twinning. So I got them <clears throat> these two little pajamas. I bought one in a size medium and one in a small for Bella and Cupcake. This is what they look like up close. Both of them were for $5.99. How cute are those? So I got one for each of the girls for their da Valentine's fit. They have a lot of cute like dog clothes right now at Ross, like no lie. Um, but you know, every time I buy something, I gotta think I'm buying for two, so I can't be buying like as much as I'd like. And then I think I, okay, and I got these for my kitchen for the month of February. It has, it's right around the corner, like tomorrow. And I bought these all right, so the next item I have another break away from the shoes because bitch, I'm telling you, I've been having some of these shoes for a little bit and I just want to wear them already because number one, you won't be able to find them if I wait too long and number two, I just love shoes and that's just something you got to know about me. So the next item I got is this hella cute little Rugrats backpack. Like, how cute is that? I'm gonna give you a close-up of what it looks like. This is like a, 
scra like scratchy. It's like a water resistant type material. It has a cute little pocket here up front. And then it has the big pocket back here. It's just black on the inside. It doesn't have any pockets down there. And I picked this up, believe it or not, I paid $21.99 for it. Really didn't want to pay $21.99 for this, but I thought it was cute. And yeah, I mean, Rugrats, I mean, I grew up on the shit, so happy to have it excited to actually use it this back part is actually like a leather material so happy about that and then the straps are just nylon so for $21.99 I'm gonna give you guys another close-up just so you guys can see there's Angelica Tommy Chucky Phil and Lil and then Susie I think is her name I can't really remember and then there's the price tag so you can see bitch paid $21.99 so, yeah, happy about this. <clears throat> now, I think when my camera cut off, I was showing you that I had picked these up. So there's that, got distracted. Back to Valentine's, I did pick up this little love sign. It's nice, sturdy, and wood for $3.99. Girl, did you pick up a snack? Cause you need a snack. We're gonna keep watching this video we're watching this video. You're going to keep watching this video. I'm going to keep hauling this haul. So the next item I picked was also for the girls for Valentine's. These cute little, they have a squeaker in them. I'm not going to do them because that will alert them. But it says love bug, puppy love, and cutie pie. I picked these up for $4.99. Excited to give them those for their Valentine. And then I also got them these two cute pet collars for that same brand. Um, what is it? Coco Lane. Or it's Coco Lane and it says Couture. So I've gotten them a bed from this. Look at that cute little emblem down there. Can you guys see it? Super cute. I got them both a collar. I bought them both in size small. I think that's going to work for both of them. It looks pretty big. So I think it's small enough for Cupcake and big enough for Bella. And even though Bella's a little big in, she ain't that big. Like I think it's going to work. I picked them up for $3.99 a piece. Girl, if you haven't got your dog some Valentine's, go check out Ross. They have lots of cute fits right now. They have collars even. And, you know, and I got them their pajamas and toys there. Okay. Now that we're talking about Valentine's, let me show you some cute pink shoes. So, bitch, I got these last month. And I got them in a size 10. I tried the size 11, but honestly, the 11 was kind of dirty, so I didn't pick it up. I got these from Ross for $59.99, and they're Uggs. How stinking cute are these? I'm in love. And if you guys take a look, there's like little bitty speckled print on it. Can't quite put my finger on what it is because it's not snake print. And they have like a little iridescent sheen to them. They're pink and they're so soft. And I really want to wear them for Valentine's for a fit, you know, to work. Not necessarily to hang out with my boyfriend. So, Ugg boots. The next Ugg item I got are also red. Valentine's vibes. They're slides. Um... There you go. They're hard and like towel material on top. I picked these up for $34.99 and I'm having to rush through this portion because my camera battery is going to die and I want to film them all. So that's what the shoes look like. Comment down below if you've seen these at Ross. Do you own a pair? Did you pick a pair up?
short on time. The next item I picked up were also Uggs. I picked these up. How freaking cute are these? These are my first pair of Ugg slippers, even though they've been out for a hot ass minute. They remind me of cotton candy. I did pick these up in a size 11. Comment down below if you want a Rosh shoe lookbook. And I got these for $29.99. How cute are they? Mm, and they're so comfy and so snug. I love them. Done, girl, but the next item I got, ah, I've been wanting some Bettyville or Betsy Johnson rhinestone boots. They own, I've seen one pair at Ross. These are not it, girl, but these are cute little rhinestone boots and this lighting's not doing it justice. And it sucks because my camera's gonna die. But how cute are these? I picked them up in a size 10. They do have a side zipper. Again, a little heel, not for the faint of heart. With these type of shoes, you do have to be careful because the rhinestones are like, on sticky sections like if you ruin one rhinestone a whole chunk are coming up so you got to be careful i did notice it's a little messed up in the front but not too bad i did pick these up for 32.99 and i'm so excited to try them out i'm just a little sad these rhinestones aren't really showing but they're nowhere near the bedazzled uh shininess of the betsy johnson ones but they are a nice little dupe that i picked up for maybe a maybe even a fourth of the price because those hoes were expensive all right we're down to the last item we're blazing through the finish line and hopefully i didn't forget anything but i got these knee high thigh high boots from ross they have a chunky heel girl so they're gonna suit you and they're a little square toe i bought these before i bought the juicy ones so it's not like i bought the juicy ones and still felt like i needed them but girl the juicy but the juicy ones say juicy so these are cute either way they have a much more tolerable heel to wear in the workplace and they're square toe i mean it's a different Bitch, so tell me why my camera died. And I was like, girl, that's fine, cause you've been at this for a minute, you need a snack too. So, took my own advice and got myself a snack. So sadly my camera died. I think I was in the middle of showing you guys these. I was like rushing because I wanted you guys to see these glorious shoes. And was thinking the time was gonna run out. Super cute loving them the last item i got i'm gonna go ahead and show you now perfect for valentine's i also thought it was cute with some jeans this is a daisy fuentes i guess lingerie fit it's really supposed to be lingerie even though i'm probably gonna wear it as a actual bodysuit i think it's hella cute to wear with some jeans if you want to be that bitch that girl and i picked this up how much was this the tag's missing that's weird i want to say it was probably like 15 or 16 bucks because that's about how much i bought in one for in the past this is what it looks like here <clears throat> but yeah she's cute and all perfect for valentine's and i think that's it i think i got through all of the shoes i think i ended up only showing you 13 pairs of shoes i don't know if you kept a count let me know girl comment down below your favorite item if you got any of these shoes that i have let me know girl um yeah and honestly i already have a shit ton of shoes so i'm gonna see about maybe cleaning out some of my shoes the hard thing about cleaning out shoes is nobody wants used shoes that's the thing the resale on them is not very good and i just feel like people don't want your damn shoes so i feel like more times than not i end up just keeping them but anyways girl i hope you enjoyed this haul i hope 
you saw it to the very end and if you did make sure that you comment down below let me know your favorite item girl and I guess until next time bye mm.